So today we're going to practice using an actual balance scale and hopefully you have a few of these things around your house to help you make it. So all I did was I took a hanger that has hooks here. Sometimes they have the hooks up here, that will work as well. But you definitely need a hanger that has hooks. It makes it a little bit easier to keep it nice and balanced. Next up, you're gonna need some plastic cups and some string. Really, that's it. I poked a hole in the sides of the cup, one on each side directly across from each other, and then just tied the string through it and wrapped it around the hook. Did the same thing on the other side and tried to make sure that my string was even on both sides so that it is nice and balanced. And when I hang it, you can hang it on a doorknob somewhere. You can see the, the hanger keeps it nice and balanced. They're both empty right now. N neither one is going down or up. And then the next thing to do is just gather some stuff from around your house. So I have little dinosaur figurines. I have small ones and big ones. I found a little truck of Wesley's, a little Marshall figurine. I got some Play-Doh, some Lego pieces. And I also have counting bears and linking cubes. If you have those at home, it's a great tool to use when measuring. But if you don't, it's okay too. Any of these things will work. For the work that you're doing today, you're actually going to pick whatever you want and you're going to put two things in, one thing in each cup. So I'm gonna start with my two dinosaurs. I have a little dinosaur and a big dinosaur. My guess is that my big dinosaur is gonna weigh more and my little dinosaur is going to weigh less. So let's see if I am right. You're gonna to wanna to put it in carefully and hold your scale so that your stuff that's bigger doesn't kind of tip out of the cup. So I'm gonna hold him up a little bit. And then I'm going to put my little dinosaur in and you can see that this side is tipping down way more than the other side. I'm just holding him up because he's a little too big for the cup. But you can definitely see that he is heavier than my little dinosaur. So I'm gonna to go to my sheet that I have for today and I'm gonna write on the scale, this guy going down, I'll show you my balance scale. My big dinosaur is gonna go on this side and my little dinosaur is gonna go up here. I'm gonna draw that picture and then I'm gonna say my big dinosaur is heavier than my little dinosaur. Now I can try it with something else. I'm gonna do one more example for you. Something a little bit smaller this time so that I'm not exactly sure which one is going to be heavier. I'm gonna take my Lego man, my construction worker, and my little toy truck. Now I can feel them in my hands and kind of give myself a guess. This one feels a little bit heavier in my hand than the truck does. So let's see when I put them in the cups, which one is heavier. Again, you wanna try and hold it still while you put them in so one doesn't completely knock it off. And then you can see it's not as big of a dip as it was last time. So the Lego man is not that much heavier than the truck. He's just a little bit heavier, but he is heavier because you can see it is tilting down towards the Lego man. So on my balance scale again, my picture that looks like this, I'm gonna put my Lego man on the side that's going down and my little toy truck up here at the top. And I'm gonna write my Lego man was heavier than my truck. And that's it. Play around with this different stuff in your house. And if you have more things than what you can fill out on that sheet, keep going, keep playing with it. You could even see how many counting bears does it take for me to equal one of my Lego guys. Put your Lego guy in and then see how many bears does it take so I can even that out again. That's another fun activity to do with this balance scale. So I'm at two bears. I'm gonna keep going until I reach that kind of flat surface again. That looks about right, don't you think? They look about even. So my Lego man weighs as much as four counting bears. Have fun playing with your balance scale today.